Welcome back to another episode of Explore Rigs, guys. We've got Carl from EC Off-Road here. We're gonna do a full rundown on the Chev. Tell us what it is, let's kick it off. Why'd you get it? What is it? How old is it? Yeah, it is the uh, 21 model Chev, so we've had it about a year or so, you know, now. Yeah. Um, 2500 HD, obviously, the big girl. Got it because you can go into the truck license, get that big GVM, and obviously, the Duramax, that's where the magic is. The Duramax. <laughs> so look guys, you would have seen this at a few four-wheel drive shows over the last 12 months. It is super unique, different style of build in the fact that you've still kept the tub on the yep. back. It's still a tourer. We're going to start at the front, we'll walk our way around and we'll get into it. First off, the colour. Yep. Run us through, what's going on here? Because I've never seen a Chev in this colour, mate. What the thought process was? Yeah, obviously these come to Australia just in four colours, so boring it's in a bmw color called drivet gray open door respray everything stripped so the boys at csa around the corner from us hooked us up that's oh, not yeah. a small feat that's no. like proper yeah yeah and it looks stunning so it's like a a matte gray with a metallic fleck it's pretty yeah it looks good looks good it's pretty sick all these bits of the gloss black then only a texture which sort of looks a bit cheap and whatnot so i think the boys bogged them up we've gloss blacked them and added a bit of orange through for the ec off-road theme sick um, yeah, certainly unique. We'll get around to the tub because it's not the only bit that got a bit of uh, metal work done. Let's start up front. Bar work, no bar work. What is going on here? Yeah, we could have gone to bar and all that, but yeah, we've rather than rip the steel bumper off because we wanted to keep that factory sleek look. Yeah. So we've gone with this as a pro light bar out of the States. So winch light bar, tow recovery points. Sits in there, so you cut out the inside of the bar essentially. That mounts in there and again keeps that factory look. I reckon it's awesome. That's pretty cool. I've never actually seen anything like that. It's basically just a little infill. You got that factory look, but you can take, yeah. a, take a winch, which is pretty cool. Exactly, yeah. How, how big is the winch? Uh, it's a Runvart 15. Um, and yeah. we've gone with the rigid lights through the whole car. Something different again out of the US. Big 50 inch? 50 inch, yeah. It's a rigid adapt, I believe it's called. So there, it's got a little control panel, different colored lights, and you can do a spot or a flood. So yeah, yeah pretty cool. While we're here, why don't we just pop the bonnet? Let's have a look. Let's Probably have a look at the Duramax <laughs> since you're bragging about it. Look at that big mate. <laughs> <laughs> Not have a lot to see, but yeah, 6.6 .6 Duramax. We've got the aftermarket uh, airbox snorkel. Has been tuned by GNL. All right. Run us through, do you know figures? Yeah, just under 600 at the, at the wheels and, uh, sorry, at the hubs. Yeah. And uh, just under 1,800 newton metres of torque, so. 1,800 yeah. newton metres. And I tell you what, when we pull down onto the beach in the soft sand, what, what would this thing weigh, you reckon? It weighs about 4.6 as it sits, so she's yeah, not light. That's not bad. I was thinking at least five tonne. No, no, that's all right. Without the canopy, she's a bit lighter. 4.6. Yeah, me Land Cruiser used to be four and a half, so I'm uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm plenty impressed. of power, plenty of 1800 power. newton meters. That makes sense. That's why we didn't get bogged in the soft stuff. Six, so nothing, nothing really else nothing under too here. Fancy, no. That's kind of the cool thing about the American rigs. Yeah. You literally get them off the shelf. Yeah, You've maybe. done a little tune, but out of the box, brilliant. The tunes obviously help with a little bit of power, but the economy when we're towing the boat, the boat's every bit of four ton. You know, on the highway to Gladstone, 20 litres per hundred, just magic. Yeah. And it's not a little boat, it's like a <laughs> seven and eight yeah, metre eight boat? Meter boat yeah. Eight metre boat. So, so 20 litres per hundred, 4.6 tonne car with a three and a half tonne boat on the back. Nothing wrong with that. Let's keep it dancing. Couple of big black things going on here, mate. What do you got? Yeah, they're 37 inch Black Bear All Terrains. Is that a 20 or? Yeah, 20 by 10 rim with big negative offsets while we've got the flares. Yeah, they're awesome. Can't yeah. complain. Nice deep dish. Looks the goods, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, yeah. Front suspension, we've got the BDS, uh, just like your Ram. Fox, three, three and a half inch lift, 2.5 remote resi shock. Nothing too special there, but again, nothing over the top. How good's that? It's another thing with the American trucks. Three inch lift, 37s, no cutting, plenty of clearance. Yeah, yeah the old BDS kit. Fox, we've been running that in the States, absolutely love it. Um, that's what you run on most of the American vehicles, eh? Yeah, we are now, it's quite easy to get, so. Yeah, yeah. what's going on here, just quietly? What's going on? These are the fanciest looking mirror I've ever seen. Yeah, slides out, slides in, you name it. Awesome for towing, again, out of the box, comes all the way out to here. You've got all your different sort of clearance lights and stuff. Steps, 
the drop down and research steps again out of the states. They're an absolute must. Up top, go through roof rack as we're cruising past. Yeah, so Rhino roof rack, of course, uh, backbone, the rigid work lights. We've got Cellfire UHF, the GMEs up the top, and the solar panel, and of course the Max Tracks down the side. How big's the Simple. solar panel? Uh, 180 watt. 180 watt. Now that's powering what's in the tub. We're not going to show you what's in the tub just yet. You're going to have to wait and see, but um, yeah, it gets pretty cool in the back. Yep. Keep cruising around. Something doesn't look normal here. Yeah, again, uh, suspension in the rear, so we've changed a fair bit. So <laughs> those big dirty leaf springs that weigh a ton and you know, leaf springs are quite rough. So that's the reason I didn't even look at the chefs, to be honest, because the leaf spring in the rear, I don't, I don't yeah. particularly like them, but you've well and truly deleted that issue. Yeah, so it's becoming quite popular. So full air suspension rear. So again, out of, out of the States, it's a Kelderman uh, four-link kit. Quite easy to put in as well. The boys do it in a few days. Um, so yeah, adjustable up and down, in, in cab controls, coupled up with the Fox shocks. That is a serious bit of kit. Yeah, like, yeah don't muck around. No, because obviously, what, what did you say the GVM was on this thing? 5.5 tonne. Um, Again, in the States, when they roll fifth wheelers and stuff, that Kelderman's good for lots. Yeah, it, do, <laughs> it, it does not look lightweight. Look, guys, air in the rear. I can tell you, we've got a GU Patrol that's actually on full air. The front being on air isn't necessary. I would have liked to have put my 79 on full air, but we did do the 2500 Ram on full air, and it is, it's incredible. Once your height's set, too, you literally you throw the boat on the back, yeah. car goes straight back to normal height. Whether you've got weight, don't have weight, whether you've got an empty tub, full tub, and then the ride you get out of it, it really is um, yeah, no, it's so much nicer. Absolutely love it. You back up the boat, up, down, no, no wine and jockey wheels, nothing. It's yeah. just brilliant for that fact alone, but yeah. Sick. Uh, also got the big fuel tank in there, the Titan 210 litre tank, so. 210, yeah. Sp oh, all yeah. right. Yeah, so there's factory replacement tanks again most of the american trucks available super easy oh okay it's replacement not yep. um yep. not, not yep. secondary yeah we want to have a little yarn about this little rack setup because you've kept the tub which is cool gives it a really cool look to be honest and probably saves about seventy thousand dollars going tray canopy yeah something different again just wanted to show that you can have that weekend as sort of touring set up and not the big canopy um yeah everything you need in there which we'll show you in a minute but yeah, obviously save a lot of weight. We can still have tent, kitchen, power system, fridge, you name it. So right now you've got a uh, couple of awnings in the tent. Run us through uh, what, what, what's going on. Yeah, of course, it wouldn't have anything else. The Bush Company AX27 tent up there. You know, we've had it in the high country in the snow. We've had it up north. It's, yeah, I absolutely love it. I think it's the double skin canvas and just everything about it. And we've got twin 180 Clevershade awning. So it's effectively a 360 degree awning. Yeah, not bad. Mm, yeah. You scared of the sun, big fella? <laughs> Bit of coverage, yeah. <laughs> you can obviously remove that little middle section yeah. straight up into the tent. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's not bad for a hot summer day like today. Absolutely beautiful up here at Bribey Island. We'll jump inside. Let's have a look at the interior and bits and pieces. Yeah. And then we'll crank open that tub last, eh? Cool. Right. Good. Right. We'll cruise around, and have a look. But on the way there, what's going on here, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Is that hot? Have a look at the size. Ah, it's bigger than the one on me 2500, and I thought that was out there. Yeah, we made that for you, didn't we? No, no just a, that's just a DPF back exhaust sort of upgrade. When they come from the States, they literally shoot out the back. Yeah. So DPF burns and stuff. Front of the caravan's not real happy. Yeah, so, yeah, true. Little side squirter thing there, yeah. But yeah, she's big just mainly for looks, but yeah, it's awesome. The old side squirter, right? <laughs> <laughs> Cruising around. What's. Is, Something missing or what? Tell yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, good, uh, good observation. So yeah, they come in on me with a big ugly tug, tub step there that hang right out wide. So pulled all that out and uh, when the boys painted it, we filled that in with a, with a steel infill. So yeah, it looks way cleaner. Way right? cleaner, yeah. Super clean. You didn't have one of these on the other side. A little storage box. Yeah, we found these also in the States. A little, little storage box. We've just got the recovery gear in there, so super handy. Yeah, just something for easy access. Cruise around, a couple more lights on the side. There's the cell fire that you were telling us about. Yeah. Max yeah. Tracks Extremes, of course. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just, a, just a little stainless snorkel out the side or what? Yeah, big five inch snorkel. Five inch snorkel. Something just about the American trucks, you can get away with five inch snorkels, 27 inch exhaust <laughs> on the back because it, it actually does suit all the side of the vehicle. So yeah. that's pretty neat too. They've done a pretty nice job cutting that all the yeah, way through. That's nice, that's good. That goes into the custom airbox. Correct, yeah. Um, one thing about these trucks, not you know, your cruisers and that, you can just put a snorkel on. These, you do have to tune them, which becomes expensive, but it is worth it having the snorkel. But yeah, as soon as you change airflow, 
some bits and pieces on the maps, you do have to tune them. Yeah, right. So painful, but yeah, I think it's worth it, yeah. Yeah, 100%. I think that's one thing Americans are lacking is it's actually quite difficult to do snorkels on a lot of the American trucks as well, but what we do with them over here, yep. deep water crossings, absolute must over there. Obviously not as big an issue, but I haven't been inside this car, so I'm pretty keen to see the interior. Let's see if it matches up with the Ram. Cool. Good luck. All right, I'm gonna jump into the big rig. I'm gonna give you some unbiased opinion of the Chev too. Oh, I'm putting sand in here, mate. Oh, the Silverado. Yeah. A little bit of wood grain on the uh, doors. That's a, uh, that's a no from me. <laughs> wood grain's too old, but that's about it. That's only a bit of wood grain, that's strange. Yeah, yeah. She's comfy. Yeah, it's got everything you need there. Like, yeah, we know the Rams are a little bit more uh, tricked up inside, but it does have everything we need. Yeah. Uh, heated seats, you know, the climate control, all your normal stuff. Uh, all the Americans have the brake controllers from factory, which is which is cool. Yep, that's your airbag man set up for the rear. Correct, yeah, we've got the airbags on there, the up and down over here on our Switch Pro, so all, the, all our lighting. Oh, that's neat. Everything's here. That's a massive Switch Pro. I've never seen three rows. That actually looks yeah, cool. That's a 12, yeah, so all our air, we've got our winch controls, all the lights. What's party mode on? Party mode is all the front lights on, so look out. <laughs> <laughs> that's sick. Kale's about nine and a half foot tall and you fit in here no dramas. Another yep. upside to the American trucks, I guess. You and a Land Cruiser would look like a bloke in a clown car. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> nah, I love it. It's so comfy. Heaps of room. Um, sunroof? Yeah, sunroof. Oh, you got to pull it back? Yeah. Oh, yeah, mine does that all by yeah. itself. But yeah, anyway, that's all yeah. right. <laughs> the carbon steering wheel. Is that factory? No, nah, we've changed that. All right, so you still do an aftermarket wheel for them? We do, yeah. Yep. Um, and we factory head unit, but we do have a little module that EC's got, allow us to get hammer and obviously Google Maps, Spotify, YouTube. Car, is that CarPlay or? Yeah, through yeah. CarPlay, yeah. yeah. Super clean, eh? No, yeah, you really don't need to do much to them. Wireless charge down there is handy. Yep, couple of cup holders and then Simple. in the back, obviously, like all the Rams, you can literally sit three full-grown blokes in there and not be uncomfortable. What do you reckon? Let's go show them this tub. Yep, let's do it. Frothing. Hope you're enjoying the episode, guys. Now look, the Explore community is growing. The new platform, the Explore Dream is now live. Now, not only do you get to win some epic prizes, yes, that's right, there's two here, but you also get discounts. It's gonna make it more affordable for you to get out and live the Explore Dream. We've teamed up with some epic partners, so discounts that you would not believe. There's exclusive merch on there as well, guys, and we're planning some pretty epic meetups you'll have to wait for it so this month guys you can either win the brand new double off-road trailer with two brand new sea sparks or because you asked for it you can take my toy or that's right you guys wanted the thundercat so i'm giving you the option the choice is yours i'm interested let me know in the comments below would you take the newy or would you take my toy hauler i'm not sure which one i'm going to prefer i'll probably cry if i lose that one the following month guys patriot camper x2 which is the ultimate when it comes to the off-road camper trailer space month three we got the mighty luxy guys this thing is fully kitted out and we're not even finished yet and Things are heating up. People are throwing some big accusations around that I should give away my ramp. So let's see if we can make it happen. Massive shout out to all of you guys for supporting the team. Uh, good luck, back to the episode. You wouldn't want to hit your shin on that. No, no, the big Jenny <laughs> hitch, yeah. It's a torsion hitch, obviously a drop hitch. You can flip it, do whatever. That's pretty cool. I reckon I, it's awesome. I struggled immensely to find a decent hitch in the States. I should have probably got you to bloody chuck one of them on before I left, to be honest. What else you got? Uh, not much down here, we've just got an hour an outlet, so we've got our, our outlets at the sides and the rear. Andos, trailer plug, nothing special, yeah. Are these factory? They are factory rear, yeah, rear lights. Little rear light bars from factory, that's yeah. pretty cool. That's cool, yeah. And then these are all the American trailer points? No, so they're for your trailer cameras. Um, oh, right. So you can put a Chev trailer camera on your van or in your horse float, whatever. A couple of them and bring them on the factory screen, which is cool. And then you get two cameras up here as two well. There, I think all links through. All up, but yeah, Twelve cool. cameras. I think so, yeah. All right, that's not bad. Let's go. Let's have let's have a look. Oh, button. Yeah, auto, auto up and oh, down. Auto. So no handle. No. Is that factory? Yep. Yeah. Well, Chev's yeah. got a few things up its sleeve. Yeah. So then you've just pulled the cover back. Yep. So that's all electric. No, 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 a manual retractable cover. Oh, okay. That's what we've gone Goes with on back. this one, yeah. Yeah. Cool thing is you've got about three football fields worth of space in the back of these tubs. Heaps of room, yeah. Um, we do have some storage here behind the fridge, but yeah, 
bit of a drawer system with the kitchen in here. We'll pull that out in a minute, but yep. made all this in-house. The fridge on the big slide out, so that's the big Evercool, new, the new 80, I believe. Dual, so, dual zone dual 80, zone, yeah. that's pretty cool. I'm loving that. Up there, two big air tanks, that's for the air system. So we've got twin compressors, two tanks. It gets those bags up uh, super quick, plus the tires when you're pumping up. What about 12 volt system, what are you running? We call it the canopy killer pack. It's up under the roller cover, so 200 amp of lithium. It's all hidden away, you can't see it. Oh, sick. So you've got that 150, 200 mil at the roller cover. cover yeah. yeah. And then the battery's all tucked in behind there. Yeah, a little water tank, um, the batteries and a two kilowatt inverter. I think we've got 90 amp of charging too, so a couple of DC DCs. Sick. And I'm marking around. We've got GPOs oh, out yeah. there for 240. Uh, some 12 volt here and our switch pro. So this is a slave switch pro to our front one. So you can link into this, turn the same lights on as the front. Plus we've got inverter and uh, our, our front lights. Happy days. Let's have a look at this kitchen. Yeah, pull him out. She keeps going. She keeps going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is bigger than the kitchen bench at home. That's neat. So Automatic you did, this sink. is all in, in house? Yep. Wow. Some storage in here for your cutlery and stuff. Um, dual induction and Dometic sink, yeah. That's really tidy. Plenty of prep space, yeah. nice big sink. The more you tour, the more you realise you just need running water on tap. Yeah. How, do you, how do you operate that? Do you need to plug anything in? It's all plugged. Yeah, well, we plug it into the side underneath there. Yep. Um, turn it on there. Power Inverter, on. Inverter, we'll plug him into that point and off we go. Finish on the top here. Yeah, you pull that out, heaps of storage in there. Oh so. yeah, perfect. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't think I've ever seen that level of like Touring capabilities in the back of a tub. Uh, obviously, you get a lot of room with the Chev, but yeah. really epic use of space with um, still having that hard cover on. So that's that's really cool. Well, there you go, guys. If you're chasing an epic build, obviously Kale's done part of my 79, the GU Patrol. He's done the uh, the big 2500 full ultimate touring package. Or if you're chasing something that's a little bit more of a weekender um, that keeps the tub look, keeps that weight down. No matter what it is, obviously you guys sort of specialise in the American builds. Yeah, we do. We do a bit of everything, but yeah, focus on the Americans, the GVMs, making, yeah. making it all work, yeah. A lot of 79s, your, your Y62s yeah. are pretty popular in your shop as well, the 200s, the 300s. I think any of those uh, full-blown tourers, and then you also have a really cool style where you can come in, get your stereo speakers, you do a lot of blackout kits for yeah. guys, yeah. lifts for uh, you know, those guys that want the cool looking truck and love to run around the shopping center. <laughs> but um, mate, well done, I'm, I'm impressed, that's, yeah, cool. that's sick. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll link Kale's uh, website and social media down below so you can follow along because just quietly, you got a build coming and it is bigger. What do we do, Ram 1500, the 2500 Chev next, we're going bigger. Let's just say it doesn't start in a two at the front of it. So, guys, stay tuned for that. We'll come back when Carl's got that next build because it is probably going to be the biggest build that's ever been done in Australia. Would you get a Chevy? Would you do the tub setup? Let us know your thoughts on this build, guys. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Shout out to our subscribers, you legends. Chuck a like if you enjoyed the video. Till next time, get out and enjoy the Explore Life. Cheers, Cheers boss. Mate. Weapon.